mother called me Charles Lee Ray. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Three words I would describe him. Short, little ass. <laughs> but the name you know. Frankie, sardonic, and sexy. Come here. The one that gave you nightmares. And made you check under your bed. Twisted, clever, fun. <laughs> That's the name that made me a f***ing legend. You do know who I am. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Wanna play? Wanna play? Stop with the Chuck. It's Comic-Con. You're dead, we killed you. I always come back. Wanna play? Let's play. Ah! Nothing like a strangulation to get the circulation going. The doll itself is so iconic. The first one off the assembly line. Oh my god, that's adorable. It's like Kruger or Jason. You into vintage? No, I'm into retro. Chucky is universal. Kids come running up to me. And they all look at me and they point and they go, Chucky! I want Chucky! The fan base is incredible and it keeps growing. <laughs> Welcome to the cult, pal. Thanks. You guys are the best. The fans are incredibly passionate. All right! I want to make these fans proud. They live and breathe Chucky. You feel like you're part of a legacy. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history. Just being a lifelong horror fan, I'm thrilled that Chucky has been embraced by horror fans to the extent that he has been. I am Chucky, the killer doll, and I dig it! And I'm your friend to the end. That one's a classic. There is no possible way to not be a fan of the Chucky movies. No, no, he's still out there. Who? Chucky! I am the daughter of Brad Dourif, so I was raised with Chucky. The first movie came out when I was five. I remember going to the premiere. I, I believe I hid under a seat. I've heard over the years from fans telling me that Child's Play 2 is their favorite. Andy and Kyle, Alex Vincent and Christine Elise. Fans really loved their relationship that we established in that movie. They have a really kind of brother-sister bond. Whoa! Ah! Mayhem! Come on, I'll race you. Now, with the TV series, it was the perfect opportunity to dig into where those characters are now, 30 years on. Wherever I go, Chucky will find me. Hi. It's always awesome to see both of your faces. It's always so good to see you. It's always great to see you. <laughs> I do a series from it after seven features have already happened. It seems unbelievable. And to play the character that I played when she was 17 and now I guess she's 47 <laughs> or 26, I'd like to call her. No, Chucky, 70. One. <laughs> Don knows. The fans want to see the original little boy in Chucky. Alex Vincent doesn't just disappear. Don brought him back and made him this bearded vigilante. For me, it's just been wild that I started this when I was six years old and I just turned 40 and I'm gonna be Andy again in my life. We're home. <laughs> You know, this is like a family project in a way. One of the things I've really enjoyed is getting the opportunity to know these actors, both professionally and personally. And the family element of it is so literal, but not just with Brad and Fiona. Catherine Hicks and Kevin Yeager met on the first one. Yeah. So they're literally family. That Alex and I that play, you know, on-screen siblings, Don is the parent of all of us. It was so colorful, the stuff at the end in the factory and everything. It was just a very colorful, bright movie with all these dark, sinister things happening. You know, I mean, when you have Chucky beating a teacher to death with a ruler, how, how could you not get excited about something like that? I think the dynamic of having a teenage girl and a little boy fighting Chucky uh, without any adults for protection was something that really resonated with the younger audience too. I get a lot of good feedback on, I wish I had an older sister like Kyle. It also sort of makes the inability to defeat Chucky a little bit easier to understand when it's just two kids. It makes Chucky scarier. I hate kids. 
people that grew up with him. There's a lot in this show that they are going to be very excited to uncover about these characters. Very ghoulish, but we're having fun celebrating. And action! They've been waiting for a real dark feel and some really gruesome, gory deaths, and this show is chock full of those. It's the World Series of Slaughter. And fun. And for the newer fans, it's a little more developed in why he is the way he is. How did you end up like this? Great question. It's really shown in a real creative way. Let me tell you the story of my first time. Still as dark as ever. We get to kind of see Chucky in a different light and what he gets out of interacting with people. They're all a bunch of Let's go. Let's go. I'm out of here. A lot of story can be told and a lot of character development. If you watch an hour and a half Chucky film, you gotta wait four years for the next one. I think this is an incredible opportunity for Chucky fans to just get a really satisfying immersion into a world. Oh, hello kitty! There you go. <laughs> a series has advantages that a film doesn't. They can show you less and it means much more. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what fans are gonna think about it. I always say, killing's good, clean fun for the whole family. I made it my mission to steer the franchise back to the tone of Child's Play 2. It feels a lot like the Chucky that I fell in love with. The show had so many different points. We have eight hours of story to tell. We get to see really interesting characters that have a lot of depth. What did you mean today about me having a secret? I, I was just trying to be funny. I think the Chucky fans are gonna be so excited. You're introduced to new characters, and then a lot of the old characters come back. The biggest fan favorite, of course, is Brad Dorif as Chucky, Alex Vincent. Andy Bark as I live and breathe. Christine Elise. We're gonna have some fun. Jennifer Tilly. I'm back, bitches. Fiona Dora. Chucky the series picks up after Nika, Chucky, and Tiffany have left the insane asylum, and they're having a great time. It's so good to be back. One of our new recruits is Devin Sawa. He himself is horror royalty. I play uh, Lucas and Logan, a wheeler. Would you give it a rest? He's 13 years old, he doesn't know what he is. After Final Destination and Idle Hands, whenever I get a chance to go back to horror, I like to revisit it as much as possible. Give me that. You know that I don't think you want to throw it in your room! One of the things that fans always loved about the original movies is that the protagonist was a kid. It's called Child's Play. They were all laughing at you. It's something we hadn't done that much of since Child's Play 3, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit, and rather than focus on six or seven-year-olds, I thought focusing on young teens, it would be a new twist and to see how Chucky interacts with them. I'm your friend to the end. You get fucked with that shit. I'm not six years old. You know, the cool thing about this series is that it's got all this scary stuff and even has a lot of heart. There are a lot of great scenes between Zach Arthur as Jake and his friend and crush, Devin Evans, who's played by Bjorg van Arneson. Okay, if I sit here? Uh, yeah. Does he get in just the last minute, he's gonna go, ah! And then working with Don has been great. He's such an amazing director. All of his the movement camera. is coming from him. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's great. Back to one, another one just like that. He is the best showrunner. He makes all of his cast feel so happy and safe. And we love him so much on here. <laughs> Would have been perfect if Chucky had looked scarier. And so that looks good. It was f***ed up, Lex. You crossed a line. I could not have asked for better castmates. They're all so funny and so talented. All of us have become really good friends, and uh, we even have our own secret handshake. Ready? Chucky's look. We've taken a lot of pains to mimic the specific look of the doll himself from Child's Play 2. I was just talking to someone who said, it's the creepiest version, but weirdly also the cutest. Oh, God. Yeah, he has like a whole pit crew. In between scenes, like five people will come and work on him. The puppeteers would all like rush in and like comb its hair and like move its limbs. And action. Oh, shit. My bad. I think that people are going to be blown away by the sophistication of Chucky's performance. That doll is pretty phenomenal now. It's like working with a little person. <laughs> we want Chucky. These puppeteers are absolutely amazing, and it's so crazy to get to see this doll move. It's very lifelike and very creepy, and it'll definitely be in my nightmares. <laughs> this creepy doll just creeps me the hell out. 
the new Chucky series is a saga that people are really going to love immersing themselves in it. It is wild and introducing new and old in this way that is unexpected. It's scary and it's got that Chucky snark that we all love. I said friend Jake, nothing more. And it's smart. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I think you're really going to enjoy seeing us steer our franchise back to its classic roots. Some people just deserve to die. There's something for everybody. I don't think fans are going to be disappointed. I think this is a good one. I think fans are going to be very, very happy. Yeah. And just wait till the end. Can't wait for you to see it. Whose team do you want to be on? And now, here's an exclusive trailer for the brand new TV series, Chucky. <laughs> Everyone has a Halloween they'll always remember. And this is Jake's. Jake, you into vintage? No, I'm into retro. Oh, what's the difference? About 10 bucks. <laughs> Fair enough. Look at that. Someone took the butcher knife. <laughs> Hi. I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Are you okay? I can't stand the sound of blood. Pussy. Oh, no, Jake, that isn't quite right. What happened to you, Jake? You used to have friends. Don't forget your boy toy. Okay. It's contagious, isn't it? Laughing at people. Well, guess what, Eds? Now the joke's on you. Hi, I'm Chuck, and I'm your friend to the end. What did you do? Uh, uh, uh. Mommy says real killing is bad. Yeah, well, mommy's full of shit. <laughs> Look around you. It's the World Series of Slaughter. Stop, stop. Did you feel that? Everywhere Jake Wheeler goes, death seems to follow. This creepy doll just creeps me the hell out. It's kill or be killed. Everybody's got to choose. What's going on with you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Chucky. He's gone. Dude, you have a serious doll problem. If you only knew. Hey kid, I'm gonna go kill your sister. Wanna come? I'm sleepy. You snooze, you lose. 